Welcome to Abbas Gallery Channel. This plug-in variant of Toyota's segment defining Prius is similar in many ways to the conventional hybrid that inspired it. The Prius and Prius Prime share underpinnings in the form of Toyota's new TNGA platform, a wacky design language, and snooze-worthy performance. The differences between the two cars are important too. Namely, the Prime adds an EPA-rated 25 miles of all-electric driving range and a large tablet-inspired infotainment screen, in certain trim levels, and it sacrifices a meaningful share of the cargo space found in the regular Prius. The Chevrolet Volt more than doubles the Prius Prime's electric driving range and is actually more fun to drive, but Toyota's good faith effort to improve the Prime's driving dynamics in this newest generation has moved it up slightly in our esteem. The Prius Prime was all new for 2017, so it is unchanged for 2018, that means everything from its odd styling to its outstanding fuel economy is the same as it was when it debuted. The Prius Prime was introduced in 2017, based heavily on the latest generation Prius. As with its hybrid sibling, the Prius Prime's use of the Toyota new global architecture TNGA, platform was new for the 2017 model year and its powertrain, exterior and interior were all revised compared with the previous Prius plug-in. Every Prius Prime has the same powertrain so you're free to make your buying decision based on features that come with each of the three trim levels. We chose the mid-level premium trim, which added several comfort items compared with the base plus but still cost less than $30,000. Standard features in the premium model included, 11.6 inch touchscreen infotainment system, Qi wireless charging pad, leather ed trimmed front seats, the total came to $29,685. Drivers who are seduced by active safety technology may prefer the $33,985 advanced trim, which added blind spot monitoring and self-parking features to our preferred model.